Paul Russ here over here TV. Welcome. Check it out. This is Parker, Arizona. Fall of 2022. That's Running Man fuel there. I had uh, some errands to do. I was down in Quartzsite. Picked up my mail. Thought that we'd do a little scoping around town here in Parker. I don't film this area that much. Actually, I had a couple questions about this. And one's a county park. We're going to run out there and check out the county park. Parker's a decent sized town. It's right on the Colorado River, straight across California. And there are RV resorts everywhere once you get north of town along the Colorado. Both sides, Parker Dam, Parker Dam Road, Parker Strip, all of it. It's actually an absolute beautiful area, especially for photography and filming. Okay, we're going to make it right here. And it's probably about nine miles, eight, nine miles north of town. There's Walmart, Safeway, all that. Actually, I got to stop at the Walmart once we get done running out to the county park. A lot of the town here in this whole area is part of the Colorado River Indian Reservation crit. You can buy fuel a lot less. Usually fuel is cheaper here. All kinds of stuff. There's the Walmart on the left and the Safeway on the right. Also Blue Water Casinos out here. We'll, we'll take a drive through there. I heard they quit allowing dry camping. We'll drive in there and see that too. Still warm down here. It's getting up in the 90s during the day. Evenings are getting down in the 70s. It is almost, in my opinion, perfect boondocking weather. Which I'll be doing some of that here in a couple weeks. All right, gonna make a left up here to traffic light. Straight on would take you straight up into Lake Havasu. which is absolutely a gorgeous drive. Everything's pretty here. Now this area here is known, I believe, as Parker Strip. This is Condominium Row. There's RV sites, a lot of park models, mobile homes, very, very high rent district here. Once we get up a little farther, you'll see some of the condominiums. Uh, they sell into seven figure, into the millions. They all have their own private docks, floating docks. I mean, all of it right there on the Colorado River. Parking is a premium. <laughs> I mean premium here. If you're wanting to come down to this area after the middle of October, all through November, first part of December, the weather is absolutely perfect. When it starts turning cold up north, it turns perfect here. Hey, there's our first glimpse of the Colorado River. There it is. Look at all the condos along through there. I call them condos. They're probably full-blown homes. <laughs> I mean, 
and they build on every square inch. There is no property left untouched. Looks like the water's pretty calm, not much wind today. You know the winds can really scream down along the river here. When I was down in Quartzsite picking up my mail, a few vendors starting to set up, not too many yet. The businesses are just starting to open the doors. I'll be showing that soon. There's a motel here right on the water, Circle K, you can buy fuel, get your ice for the boats. There's even a VFW back in here. Kind of its own little world. And real estate. This has always been a very expensive area, but look at the location, my goodness. <laughs> There's another gated private community right there. Okay, you gotta get up here to where the county parks are and they got some day use areas. Look at the size of those monsters. All got solar. Premium, but pretty. Wow, they found room to build one more. <laughs> Look at this right here on the left is a day use place. Right there in the water. But there's a better one up here. We'll stop. I believe, yep, there's a fire department up here. Need these guys on the river. This river just gets packed full of boats all winter long. Ski boats. Pontoon boats, fishing boats. They have boating, boat races. Right up here, yep, there's a county day use area. Got good access, but no camping at this one. I've stopped here many times. This is actually a good little place just to stop and enjoy a few hours of rest. Great cell signal right here too. Got four bars. Some of the places along the river the cell really drops off cell signal. They got their own little boat launch here. All kinds of picnic areas. Playground for the kiddos if you got them. What do you say? Let's check out the water. First time this fall. Been a while since I've been back here. Not since early spring. There goes a boat. Look at them trees, they are happy campers getting all this water. <laughs> they are green and growing. Here's a little floating dock. So if you're out boating, pull up here. Get your little lunch. Here's the mighty Colorado River. All this water is coming out of uh, Parker Dam, Lake Havasu. 
Once again, we're about nine miles up from the town of Parker. There's some private docks there, and then the county park is right up here. Right. Let's go check out the park. You know there's a golf course up here. And it's incredible to see. It is so green compared to the rest of the terrain of the desert. Bar and restaurant there on the left. Big storage a lot on the right. More storage. A lot of people leave their boats here. Okay, should be right past this road here. Will be the golf course on the right. Oh wow, look at all the mobile homes. That's new. I haven't been in down here for a while. Huh. Okay, on the right will be the golf course. On the left, right here, is the County Park Flea Market. I believe they have it on Saturdays. I know COVID probably messed with it, but they should be having it again. They get quite a few vendors. Actually, some of the vendors out of Quartzsite come up. And then back in here, I believe it's called Pirate's Den. There is a bar, restaurant, an RV park where you can camp right on the water. You can actually get full hookups right on the water. Yep, Pirate's Den. Let's scope it out. Yeah, look at the sign. There be pirates ahead. <laughs> Ahoy, matey! <laughs> no clue what they charge. I know it's very, very hard to get into. I tried once or twice and could not get a site. They got their own little marina down there. Tell you what, let's just do a drive around and then I'll park and we'll walk down to the water. Big fuel tank. There's their office. Okay, up here you see the rigs off to the right, the RVs, that's where you camp along the water. They got like little cabanas that you can rent. And here's the bar and restaurant. Pretty good food. I've I've eaten here once or twice. Years ago when the old vending days, we used to come up here once in a while. Had leftover products, especially in the early spring, unload them up here once the uh, quartzite start dialing down. Alright, let me find a place to park and we'll check out the water. Oh, look at that guy out fishing all by himself. There's a lot of fishing going on here. I thought this would be a better place to get a look. There's your pirate's den. There's a restaurant and bar. Marina where they sell fuel. Six seventy nine a gallon. To buy it on the water. It's 
switch cameras, use the phone here, we'll zoom in. There's your pirate ship. Go have a beer on the pirate ship. <laughs> Watch the boats go by. Busy place, that place gets packed. Ooh, got a fisherman out there. Enjoying life. Straight across, there's California. That's all mobile homes. There's resorts. That's Parker Dam Road. All the resorts along through there. And this guy, he's got his fishing boat. Look at that. Sits up front. Controls it with uh, his feet. Well, cool. I hope that answers it. I was uh, asked a question. What's it like out here at the La Paz County Park area? And this is it here. We'll do a drive through the rest of the county park. If you read the reviews on the county park out here, they're kind of mixed. But overall, I mean, look at your location. You're right on the Colorado River. Oh, man. With hookups. They have dry camping, showers, sewer dumps. As for dry camping, like dispersed, really there's nothing out this way. This is kind of it here. We can see the big open areas. Wow, look at the size of that rig with that big trailer. That guy is totally set up. Probably going to be here all winter long. And you got green grass. Where else are you going to see green grass in the desert? Except along the river. And up here is the main gate where you check in. I'm not going to drive all the way to the back, but you kind of get the idea here. Once again, there's La Paz County Park. And it goes way up there quite a ways. All their sites. And there's their office across the way. Cool. And if you're a golfer, <laughs> I mean... This golf course is absolutely something else. I believe it's called Emerald Canyon. And this thing runs on both sides of the highway. All their golf carts up there. But look how green. I mean, it is absolutely something else. There's the look. You see on the other side of 95 there? That's Arizona 95. That'll take you up to Lake Havasu and back down to Parker. But look at the terrain. And then the green grass of that golf course. And it's open to the public. No clue what the fees are. And there's a look up river. Straight down, there's... Uh, Pirate's Den. And the county park we just drove through. That 
that water is clear. You can actually see the bottom there. Hey, there goes my boat. That's back where all those storage units are. And then the day use area we're just at and straight way out is Parker, Arizona. Let's head back towards town. I gotta go to that Walmart. We'll stop at uh, Blue Water. See what's happening there. Coming up next week, heading back north. Gonna go back up into southern Utah. The travel never stops. I want to get up there before it gets too cold, though. All right, back on Arizona 95. Here's the Blue Water Casino. This thing's been here as long as I've been coming down. It's a huge employer for this whole area. Generates a lot of money for the Colorado River Indian tribes here on the reservation. There's an RV park back here. Now what I heard, and we're going to find out, is they eliminated the dry camp and you used to be able to park in the parking lot and camp here. Wow, look at all the signs. No dry camping. So I heard right. The story is too many people took advantage and was basically living here. They had a heck of a time uh, with trash. All kinds of old rigs broke down. So the tribe got together and said no more. There's another sign. No dry camping. Yeah, you used to be able to park in the parking lot. Especially off to the left. There's a rig. They're just probably here for the day. Yeah, there is no RVs here. Well, that's too bad. I mean, uh, people take advantage. There is a movie theater here. If you want to go to the movies, it is air conditioned. That's very popular in the summer. All the locals come here. They always have the top movies that's out. Video arcade building. There's a beach down here for day use. They do charge to go down to it. Straight out that storage. And that's also the RV park over there. Run down here to the beach. They have outdoor concerts here, entertainment. I don't know if they still do their buffet, but they got a restaurant inside the casino. Gambling, of course, big hotel. A lot of boating events, boat shows, races. If you check their website, Blue Water Casino, they should have a list of their events almost every winter. COVID really affected these guys too. So there you go. No dry camping anymore at the Blue Water. That's too bad. I did that a couple times. It wasn't bad. 
parking lot was kind of uneven, but it didn't matter. It was free. Back in town, there's the Walmart on the right. I gotta stop there, get some supplies. Maybe getting out of here, we'll go up the Parker Dam roadside. See if we can find any burrows. Head up to Havasu. I'll be back down in Quartzsite here in a week or so. And also, we're hitting the road. Heading north, going up southern Utah. Journey continues. Talk soon.